Yes, guys. This evening, I will take a walk through Paris Hill, St. George, once again. So, I will, take a, I will start from by the murals here. Looking back down towards the Andrews Sugar Factory. And you can see all into the St. George Valley over here. With Sweet Bottom, Sweet Vale area and Gordon Ridge. So this way we take about a Market Hill via St. George and back to Bridgetown. Market Hill, Groves Corner and that part of St. George and back to Newberry and so on and Gun Hill. St. George and back to Bridgetown. And back to Fisher Pond and Russell Gully which is also a part of St. Thomas, between St. Thomas and St. George. And this is the garden dedicated to the late Burton Burt Mears, who is also a relative of mine. We'll walk through Paris Hill shortly. Try to get as far as St. Anne's Church. The lion statue here. The lion, I mean the lion face here. So this way will lead about a Bathsheba, which is on the south on the west on the east coast of Barbados. Bathsheba is on the east coast of Barbados in the parish of St. Joseph, Bathsheba, Horse Hill, George River, St. Elizabeth Village, all in St. Joseph. And this is the detail of the part of the paintings here, the Palisade project. This was done by Christopher R. Chandler and plastered by W.B. Blanche and Company. And the list of sponsors down below. This is the lion face here. So these paintings were mostly done by the residents of the area back in the late 90s. And then Christopher R.L. Chandler finished off the, did the finishing touches. So this will be about the St. Anne's where I'll be heading for shortly. And this one is advertising for pandas to the market at St. Elizabeth Village. So this way about the Bathsheba and back to the East Coast via Horace Hill. All of the Paris Hill right here. So this way will take you about the Horace Hill, which is another steep hill. Steeper than it is now. Horace Hill is in St. Joseph as well. And it will take you back to the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School, which was once the West St. Joseph Comprehensive School and Secondary School. So I'm not going all the way up here this evening. This is the latest addition to the paintings which was done recently by ZT Surfboard, which is at Bathsheba in St. Joseph. So most of these things here featured on this wall here is in St. Joseph.
So in Naniki Lush Life Resort and Restaurant is in Suriname Village, Orange Cottage, Horace Hill, St. Joseph, Flower Forest is at Richmond, St. Joseph, Roundhouse Inn is at Bathsheba in St. Joseph, Pandas is at St. Elizabeth Village in St. Joseph. Yes, guys. We are back to the now defunct Andrew Sugar Factory, which no longer operates. It is no longer open to clean grinding in Barbados. It closed down in 2013 under the last government, closed to be open as a multi purpose factory. But that plan did not work out. So it is now here with a high white fence surrounding it to keep away trespassers. I will take a walk through Paris Hill shortly. Just let you guys see the main road first before proceeding to the village itself. So again, my mother is from this area in nearby Branchbury. Okay, my mother is from nearby Branchbury, which is this way. Branchbury Coffee Gully is this way, as well as the Granny Adams School and the and Horse Hill and Bashiba and Catawash. So all the St. George Valley. All the paintings here at Paris Hill Village. I will now be proceeding to the village now. Some more animals here and with on the cut rock. So again, I'm in the parish house in Joseph. Some more animals here on the cut rock. You have the zebra, the giraffe, the rhinoceros, the chimpanzee, the eagle, the ostrich, the ape, the snake, the elephant, the cricket stumps, the camel, the monkey, hippopotamus. On the list of animals here and we have on this cut right here. So I will now take a walk to the village. To Paris Hill Village. Evening. So this is Paris Hill Village. You no. Know, where this peach colour house is with the green veranda was once a shop years ago. Oh, Paris too. So this will lead about to St. Anne's Church, Village, Erie Hill, and Lamings, and the St. Bernard's Primary School. Looks like they're building a house here. Back up to Paris Hill. This was also a shop once upon a time.
And this is the Paris Hill, New Testament, Church of God, through here. On this hill top here, on this hill here, the Paris Hill, New Testament, Church of God. Yeah. So this road will be the Battle St. Anne's Church, where you have Paris Hill, where you have, we have passed Paris Hill now. All up here is the hill as well. So this road will be the St. Anne's Church, where you have Airy Hill, Sugar Hill, and Lammings. So St. Anne's Primary School is where my mother received her primary education. My mother, one of my aunts, and two uncles received their primary education from St. Anne's Primary School and they were also christened at St. Anne's Anglican Church and St. Anne's Church is the final remains of my grandparents from my mother's side. My maternal grandparents are laid to rest at St. Anne's Anglican Church. You can see the cemetery here. St. Anne's Church is in a very lonely and isolated position. This is the church wall here. You can enter the church from the cemetery side, but I will go around. So this is the church here. St. Anne's Anglican Church. So St. Anne's Church dates back to 1853. And dedicated in 1855, consecrated in 1855. Yes, St. Anne's Anglican Episcopal Church, situated on Paris Hill, St. Joseph. And it is the final resting place of my grandparents, my mother's mother and father. The school is no longer in existence. The school closed down since 1985. So St. Anne's is a very isolated position. So there are no houses beyond the last house we passed in Paris Hill. And this is all the church wall. So this way now we'll be heading to Lamings, Sugar Hill and Airy Hill. So this will be about Sugar Hill, Airy Hill, Lamings, and St. Bernard School over here. This area is known as Retreat. That is where the St. Anne's Vicarage used to be. And all okay, King Ground, you can see over to St. Thomas now with the CBC antenna at Sturgis in St. Thomas. So this is St. Anne's Church. My grandmother and grandfather are laid to rest. They are building some houses up in here now. Government land. And this is the church cemetery here. And some houses down here as well. as well. And this is the old school building which is now used as the church hall. When the St. Anne's Church was under rest renovation between 2005 Around that thing, the church used to have a meeting here. 
But this is the part of the school building, which is now the church hall. The other half of the school building has been demolished. And this is the preface of St. Anne's Anglican Church. And you can see all the farmland in the background, leading you back to St. Thomas with Sturges and Flower Forest in that area. St. Anne's Church, once again, thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.